Joe McNeil here for Donnybrook Fight Promotions, joined by Tyler Smythe fighting out of Evolution Athletics. Tyler, I know you had multiple opponents fall out before this fight. Now you're fighting at 145. How was the camp? Was it frustrating? But you're happy to be here. What's up? Yeah, happy to be here, get an opponent. Um, weight doesn't matter, opponent doesn't matter. As long as someone shows up, I'm getting my hand raised. So you last fought in January, a quick turnaround. Has it been tough to get right back into camp or is it kind of like smooth transition? Uh, it's been pretty easy. We, we train hard no matter what. We were training 24 seven all the time anyway, so we're ready to go. Tyler, good luck tomorrow. Tyler Butterknife Smythe enters the cage for his pro debut. He's fighting at 145. It's not his natural weight class, but he went through multiple opponent changes, and he looks ready as ever. Take on. Sorry. It is 145. Here at the Marriott Auditorium, but there was some pretty impressive face-offs. Rob Fuller in the cage! 
So I look at the back of Tyler Smythe. You see the cuffing bruises there, the recovery massage technique. That's something that only the higher level guys can afford to do. So Rob Fuller talking a lot of trash on the way in. They had an intense face off yesterday. Tyler Smythe, a big favorite in this fight. Rob Fuller, not a great record by any means, but he has a lot of experience. So, and we've seen him knock two guys out pretty good. But let's see if Tyler shoots, switches levels. Look at Rob, he was dancing, he was talking. Rob Fuller with an 18, a uh, two and 18 pro MMA record, two and eight amateur MMA record, and a one and six kickboxing boxing record. That being said, 20 fights is a lot for pro fighters. Here we go, Smythe and Fuller. Stylish flat oh. shorts there. To oh, make big right hand maybe by Fuller. That might have caught Smythe. I don't know, man, this thing with Rob Fuller is that kid has power. His That's hands are clasped though. Here he goes for a right here. He's gonna go for a ride. Fuller doing a decent job, but his hands are clasped. Big slam, boom. Shaking the commentary booth with that takedown from Tyler Smythe. That right hand though, I think clipped and maybe even rocked Smythe. I think it did, man. It had him on skates there, potentially. Watch the triangle. Corner of Smythe saw that triangle. And he's right in front of his corner, so he's in a great position here. Smite taking a rest here, using the time. So five minute rounds, pro fight folks. Big right hand by Tyler Smythe. This is a pro fight, so elbows are allowed. Rob Big Fuller. Deep breaths from Rob Fuller as he yep. gets his back taken here in the first he round. He can't stay there, he's 43 years old. He's got to move. Choke that is got under it. the it's chin. Over. That is. It's over. Tapping. It's over. Tyler Smythe makes a point here. First round stoppage. The old saying is, it's hard to talk S with a fat lip. Here we are. And a lot of smack going back and forth between Rob Fuller and Tyler Smythe's corner. Rob Fuller not happy with the decision. Looks like Rob Fuller is upset because he was tapping early, but the ref did not see it because he was underneath Tyler Smythe. Fired up corner though from Smythe. They didn't appreciate the shit talk, I'm sorry, the trash talk from Fuller, and Fuller's still talking. Fuller wanted to goes over, wanting to go over and talk to him, the ref keeping them separated. Now, all the refs and the doctor in the cage now. Rex Thompson, a fight promoter in the cage as well. Tension's running high here. This is really not necessary. Fuller did clip Smythe. Smythe dominated after that, got the takedown and finished the fight. He got the rear naked choke. The only thing I could see wrong there is that the ref didn't stop the fight right when Rob Fuller tapped out. The crowd is going wild here. By rear naked choke, Tyler Smythe. The ref keeping the two. All right, there we go. We end with a good. Give these fighters a round of applause, everyone. They worked so hard for this. Ben going into the cage here in just a second to interview our winner, Tyler Smythe. Should hear from him momentarily.
Tyler Smythe's team entering the cage as Rob Fuller's team exits. The big story is Tyler Smythe wins his pro MMA debut, 145 pounds. He did a good job. He did take a shot, kind of wobbled him a little bit, but no need for that trash talk. Kind of excessive. It's part of the game. A lot of adrenaline going, a lot of testosterone, but we really don't like to see that up here. We'll often see mean mugging trash talk before the fight, but after the fight, that is Bad over. blood on the scales leads to the cage. You finish that emphatically with a stamp on it. Come on over here, brother. Man, how you feeling after that win? Uh, I feel good. I got, got my, uh, my first pro dubs. So let's go. One of the deadliest 135ers and 125ers we usually see here in the Northeast, man. You got that pro win. What's next for you, man? We had this one here at 145. It was kind of a short notice. You went through like 18 people because nobody wanted to fight you. So where, where are we going next? When we, can we see you back in this cage or in another pro fight? I, as, far, as far as this cage, I'm not sure that that's, that's something we'd have to, we'd have to talk about um, coming up. But coming up next, the cage tightens. So, so I'm ready. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a name you're going to want to keep your eyes on. One of the deadliest fighters here in the U.S. Northeast, man. We're going to have to get you in a title fight again here soon, brother. Thank you very much for your time. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Tyler Smythe. Now, Tyler Smythe, nicknamed the Butter Knife. I talked to him earlier and asked him, what's up with Butter Knife? And the story is that when he showed up at the gym, they said, you know, this guy's not very sharp. Get some mind blown when they throw shade. That's when I glow. I'm so ahead of y'all. That's a different time zone.